Hi, this is Andrew with Uvify, and today we're going to be going over the OSD on the Draco. OSD, or on-screen display, is basically an overlay on the video feed that you can see when you're flying around. This gives you important information like voltage, current draw, time flying, even your call sign that you can see when you're flying. So, for this you're going to need your Draco with battery installed but props off. We're going to need our FPV device, in my case I'm using a pair of goggles, as well as the radio that you have bound previously. So we will start by powering up our radio, as well as the Draco itself. Again, short long press on the power button, short long, as well as powering on our goggles to the correct channel. The default channel on the Draco is A1, so if this is the first time setting this Draco up, you'll be on that channel. If, however, you have changed this channel, you will switch to the channel that you had previously set. So, I'm on channel A1, I'm looking through my goggles, and I can see the OSD there. So, to enter the OSD, you hold left roll for three seconds till you enter the OSD like that. Then, you take your transmitter, as you can see here, and move around the OSD with down and up to go up and down the settings, as well as to the right on the roll stick to enter into various menus. So, to start with, we're going to look at the Draco settings. Within Draco settings, we have PID, rates, TPA, and body LED. It basically allows you to change settings with on the Draco itself, uh, but many of these you don't have to touch uh, unless you know what you want to change. For example, if you want to change the rates, something higher or lower, depending on if you want to fly fast or fly slower, or flip fast or fly slower, um, you can change these settings in here, but many of them you don't have to touch. So we'll exit that menu for now, and also exit this menu. More importantly, we're going to be looking at the VTX settings. So this basically sets what channel this Draco will transmit on and then what you can receive in your goggles. So for this, we're going to go into VTX settings. And here you can see you have a band as well as channel as well as your power output. Depending on the country and what Draco you order, this may vary depending on um, what is restricted within your country. So first we have band, which is basically a way to set which band, there are several bands within this range, as well as which channel you want to go to as well. As you change these settings, you can see in the bottom down here that you can see what frequency you're on, as well as what frequency you're moving to. So as soon as you save and exit on this, it will jump to that channel. So that means this will go static in your video feed if you do change it. So we'll leave it on that setting for now. In addition, you can set the power limit, so this is 25 or 200 milliwatts, 600 milliwatts, or down into pit mode. Pit mode is good if you're flying out with uh, a race event or something like that, and you need to power and change settings without the VTX transmitting at high levels. This basically means if you're in pit mode, you have to be right next to the Draco for it to pick up video feed. So we'll now put this back to 25, which is the stock, as you can see, the save and exit has disappeared because we're back at the normal settings, and we'll exit the VTX menu. Again, if you change any settings in here, it'll immediately jump to the new VTX channel that you select over here. So we'll exit the menu. Next setting is the OSD settings. And here you'll find a bunch of different things. Many of these you will not have to touch uh, unless you're doing any custom setup. Um, but the most important one is to set up your call sign. So at 25, 200, and 600 milliwatts are all power outputs that are available on the VTX again, depending on your country, but to unlock these, you need to go to change call sign and enter your own call sign within Draco. So I've changed mine to Meme Day 001, and you can change this to whatever you have. So we'll exit this menu, and then exit the call sign changing. The remainder of these settings you don't really have to touch yourself unless you would like to change them directly. In addition to this, we can go into the camera settings. This is basically the camera itself, and you can change all of the settings on there. For example, if you want to fly at night, you can put it into night mode, black and white with uh, high gain, etc., so that you can see better at night. But for most flying that you're going to do, you can leave almost all of these settings alone. So to uh, exit this, we're going to hold left yaw, um, and we go down to exit. So I'm going to yaw left to exit, then we roll left to exit. So once you're out of the camera settings, you're back into the standard menu. Basically anytime you come into these settings, the main thing that you're going to have to change is the VTX settings. The rest of them you can leave uh, separately. So once you complete, you hit exit and you're back to the main menu. If you're in flight or if the drone is armed, you can't get into this OSD menu. 
uh, until you disarm the drone. So that concludes all the settings on the Draco OSD. As new firmwares come out, these menus may change, so please head over to uvify.com for more information.